Right. If you drive down uh, Paradise past the Westgate, you can't help but notice their new incredibly bright sign. But people living nearby say it's more like an annoying, never ending light show. 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan is live near the hotel where neighbors are fighting to get the massive advertisement toned down. Brian. Yes, yeah, Steve, it was about a month ago the Westgate was celebrating the installation of that screen on both sides of that sign. They're pointing out it's larger than those in many football stadiums. It didn't take long for their neighbors to start complaining with the people in that tower, saying that constant flashing is like somebody turning lights on and off from sunset to sunrise. I've been sleeping in my guest room. I can't sleep in my own bedroom. Bob Savitt is living in the shadow of a 28 story nightmare. Well, shadow isn't the right term since the problem is the bright flashing lights. Tomorrow I'm installing shades. And he's not alone. My wife literally has trouble sleeping now. She She's compared it to Chinese water torture. Those who live near the 28 story Westgate sign say it is driving them insane. Up until this date, Westgate has been a good neighbor to us. After a meeting two weeks ago with the HOA presidents, the Westgate dimmed the sign facing those towers. But neighbors say it didn't last long. It was disappointing though when the intensity went back up over this last weekend. A Westgate spokesperson didn't reply to a request for comment tonight, but two weeks ago said the company prides itself on being a great neighbor. Those neighbors say actions speak a lot louder than words. For a short period, I thought it was better, or maybe I hoped it was better. It may have been a hope, but it's, it's just as bad now as it was in the beginning. And the president of the Turnberry Place Community Association said he reached out to the Westgate himself, but didn't get a response today either. They're now reaching out to the county to see if they can help mitigate some of the problems. Reporting live, Brian Callahan, 13 Action News.